Okay, I don't. S there and I see. And we're you. up. Anyone else want want to get in the watchers before we oh, start, yeah. Matt? Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn. So I'm going to summon Materia White Oak in attack mode. Here we go. Oh, Set one card face. Set actually one face down and a second face down. And I'll end my turn. I don't get enough chance to use White Oak's effect. It's too bad you can't target with your own effects, otherwise, you would have something uh, comparable to what I use regularly. Otherwise, I would have already synchro summoned. Yeah. Did you synchro summon a bunch of monsters in your first turn? Yeah, That's so. Rules. Screw the rules, I have synchro monsters. <laughs> Screw the rules, I'm growing plants. Did, did he just synchro summon in my, on my turn? Screw the rules, I have young things. <laughs> I said no, 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 screw the rules, I have synchro tuner monsters. Young things are also, also do that very well. Yeah, the Yang Zings are based around that. I need to figure out how to use the Yang right. Zings. I feel that would be a deck archetype I would have, work with. I'll show you my uh, deck list. Summon a Rotten Captain in attack mode. Okay. Activating his special ability. Is it a special summon. Hey! Yes! Yes! Comrade That's is credit to team. Rotting... Uh, a comrade swordsman of Lansar, and using the special ability of the monster in my hand, I now special summon in defense mode, Boost Warrior. Went dark again. Oh. 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 It's back, it's back, I see it. So, oh. Ronnie Captain's this... up to 19, and you can also sink for a level 8. Except you don't have any ex monsters in the extra deck. I forgot that one minor thing, but I'll survive. Yeah. Now I go to attack mode. I will survive! You get to attack my white now, oak. Yeah. Except yes. all of my white coins. Da 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 da. So I'm saying you destroyed one of my monsters. And this it destroys is... all attack position monsters, so Captain's gone. And this is why you're running this, so like, if you're gonna go with the marauding Lancer combo. Oh yeah. I'd have had either Lightning Warrior or Go Your God, you know, by that point. <laughs> I'm gonna summon Nutria Cosmo Beat. I'm going to Synchro Summon. Ooh. I'm gonna tune these two monsters, Synchro Six. Queen of Thorns. Queen of Thorns. She's pretty much the all star of this Are you deck. sure? Every rose has its thorn. <laughs> And it's Keith Lewis. <laughs> well, you could have gone for coming or double, but I don't think you're a fan. Every rose has its thorn, just like every Yu-Gi-Oh series has its beginning or whatever. I oh, uh, I'll you're running out of options. Destroy yep. swords of the Just like Kamurai, a stronger needed more on that. <laughs> And every time you summon a monster, you take a thousand points for as long as she's on the field. Really? The only oh, way yeah. around that is to set them. Yeah. So, yeah, I attack and destroy com Comrade of Landstar. She's not unbeatable, but you have if you're wanting to beat her, you're going to have to be willing to sacrifice some points, right? I pushed my friend into a corner when he was using a malefic deck with Queen of Thorns. Well, hey, at least you pushed him into a corner, right? When I first built my plant deck, Queen of Thorns was one of the first synchro monsters I looked for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was at 600 life points. So, he reinforced the army. Reinforcements of the army. Then you, you're basically playing the deck I use. Isn't that kind of like... I don't use Bruce Moria, and I actually use uh, an extra deck. I'm trying to abandon Keith. I should have used my machine deck. In America. Hmm. 
Oh. No, wait. No. No. The warrior turning alive. I'm still powering what he's about to do. Oh, sorry, I've muted myself again. Um, he's about to take 2,000 points of damage if I think he's doing what he's doing. Uh, normal summon. And you take 1,000 points because of Queen of Thorns' effect. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, special summon. Take another 1,000 points. Now battle phase. I attack. What? And activate wall of thorns. Read the special effect, man. Of what? Does it negate the attack? No. Because but it destroys the. Oh, it wall of thorns. Attack. Yeah, it, you, when you declare an attack, the attack hasn't gone through yet when wall of thorns triggers. It doesn't negate the attack. Okay. Because the attack doesn't happen. It'd be the equivalent of running up to attacking somebody and then you stepping on a shovel in it and having it hit you in the face. Yeah. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure on the speeds. That's all. You know, okay. like, why did you attack with uh, rescue? Because it's a fact that Res would have destroyed the Queen of Thorns. No, it would have transferred Queen of Thorns to my side. No, 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 no. It only no, works no. if they control a you monster own you own. Queen of Thorns is not a monster you own, oh. so Rescue Warrior would have done nothing. It's not. He's it's not supposed to counter grab, kind of. It's supposed to counter okay. Goyo Guardian, which, when it destroys in a monster, it special summons it on its owner's side of the field. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. And Queen of Thorns Remember destroyed that Queen of Thorns. Remember that I'm a frequent uh, Goyo Guardian user. <laughs> it was uh, it was initially made for to counter Goyo Guardian both in the show and in the metagame. However, it be was rendered moot because Goyo Guardian was put on a ban list. I think either the, the, for the for the format change before that card was released or the format after the card was released. Well, it still works against things like... Um, Snatch, Steel, uh, Mind Control... Not Mind Control... Except those are banned. Um, Chance of card is banned. Um, yeah, the only um, take uh, control cards now Chimera, are really Chimera. specified. Uh, the Fright for Chimera. Okay, yeah, Fright for Chim Chimera would make sense. That's the only one I can think of, though, that's yeah, still in the game. They're really specific now. I'm going to set a monster. Oh. Queen, attack. Go, my pretties. Fly. Man. Blue flame swords, man. Is there like a yellow flame swords, man? I wish. Hold on. Then we'd have the primary I activate color. his special ability to um. banish him. Target one fire warrior now, monster in the graveyard. Special summon it. Do you have a, a fire monster warrior aside from boost warrior? Well, Boost Warrior will Yes, I do, actually. Well, but Boost Warrior will do yeah. just fine. Take a thousand. Aww. At this point, Adam, I don't think you even really need to attack him directly. Yeah, I can just sort of sit here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Queen of Thorns sitting in a lawn chair just... Watching as Daniel's trying to attack her, and like he's running into a bunch of thorns. And then she's using her fi and, no, I'm thinking of using her finger to direct the grass around yeah. him to attack to attack him directly every time. <laughs> you know, kind yeah. of like um, you Bell in the show has that uh, plant vine <laughs> pop out when its effect triggers. Oh yeah. Um, Using his special ability, I'm going to search through my deck for one card and put it on top of my deck. It has to be a warrior type monster. But you're running a warrior deck. Oh anyways. no! I am, aren't I? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I totally missed what just happened. What happened? We're discussing the effects I just of the Commander a bunch of monsters. Okay.
So basically securing a draw. Pretty much. Which honestly is a good opening yep. combo with the Marauding Captain, especially if it's a level 5 or 6 right. monster that you can s sacrifice the next one out. Oh, one, level 1 or 4, never mind. Well, okay, I... if you're going for a level 5, five, five 6, 7, 8 tuner monster, that work. That would actually work, because then you get a, the scene from the next turn. This tool might be going That's very cool. differently if he, huh, if he had an extra deck. Yeah. Yes, it would be yeah. completely different. Then you would have devastated. Then you still would have run a sacred yeah. monster to all of thorns. Times, no. Unless that sacred monster was like that in my turn. Also, I love how the spirits uh, later on got, I think, one or two cards. One of them was uh, a synchro bouncer. <laughs> I really do like how Adder hasn't really been attacked, but rather a gale attack. You take. 200 at uh, 300, 300. 300. I'll destroy Felix Panda Rising and take 300 points of damage. Um, Adam, Finally, you I broke the chain. You broke the theme we were going with. <laughs> I'm not just going to sit here. Well, uh, three more, you can play three more monsters. He's still rushing on the vines. Boo! Hey. Matt, you have done worse. But you're seeing how this deck excels. Especially if I can draw a bamboo shoot as well, I can shut down his spells and traps. You know, if I summon bamboo shoot correctly. It seems like you never seem to do. Pretty much, yeah. I don't need your sass, Matt. <laughs> How will sass what up my sass? All the sass. Uh, Should I do that? No, you shouldn't. You should attack my face down monster. And a flip summon right. Naturia Cherry. Ooh, interesting choice. Uh, don't worry, I'm choosing it to... Matt, your... I need a second opinion. Don't yeah? those guys... Destroy Boost Warrior. Aside from the ho the Ahoge, don't the Naturia Cherries kind of look like Alcade? Huh, well, wait, yeah. You kind of do. I can see that. They're the most adorable cards in my deck. Adelie is a precious cinnamon roll that was too perfect for this world. I still say that was the best use of that meme ever. Yes, it is. Take a thousand. What the hell? Is that a Sentai Warrior, though? What? Hey, Royal what Knight of the Ice... Oh god. Um, oh god! Does it work for his token? Does he take points for his damage for his token? Um, the token tokens goes on your are side not of the field. plant monsters, so yes. But it's summoned oh, to your side. Of the field. I have to take it. Yes. Take it. Uh, <laughs> oh god. They are summoned in attack position. <laughs> that. Hi. Ow. <laughs> At last, some damage. Finally. By my own hand, no less. Hubris, Adam. Hubris! A thousand points? A thousand points. Yes. I finally did something to you. I can By the way, after all, all this right. time, I'm still not sure... You threw I... pebbles at him. That but... can be deadly, as I learned from Amethyst Cat. By the way, uh, after all this time, I'm still not sure why um, Asuka's cards from GX, like the anime haven't been released yet. You know, like all her... All her ritual starters. monsters? Yeah. Because her ritual monsters were kind of... Um, they were kind of good, yeah. Uh, you didn't end your turn yet. I'm just saying, like, I, oh. I can understand like, at least one or two of them. I mean, how is it that like the Crystal Beast managed to get Pendulum Monsters, but that hasn't got those cards haven't gotten yeah, released. Yeah, we just pretty much got her Cyber Dancers, and we never got the um, Cyber Ritual Monsters. Yeah, because I want to. That would have been an interesting thing to see. And we need more rituals in general. Like okay, well, rituals we have that ritual don't... monsters, except that nobody really plays them. Well, and in those who except for Necros. Except for Necros. There's nothing that can really be used. Okay, guys, guys, are you ready for this game to be for me to lock him down? Yeah. The reason I nobody plays Ritual that much is... I Cherry 
to summon the tree of bamboo shoot. Yes, first try. You triggered it for correctly for once. And yeah, the reason the reason people don't use ritual monsters that much is because they're too resource intensive. Which you um, can get two hundred, wouldn't it? Solo exchange between the top. Um, should I put him down to 300, or should I just wait? No, put him down to 300. Don't let him live. He can't play a card if I put him down to 300. But he already took the damage. Five, five, five. correct amount of damage because he did 200 okay, yeah. too much. Right. So it's five. Right. He can't play cards. Pretty much. By the way, I have to say by watching GX, like, one of my favorite, more favorite characters is uh, Ron Jome. Like, he's so, he's so, he's so, he's so, Jar again, dude. Like, with what the job. Game, I'm gonna go fix that deck real quickly. Yeah. It's like night okay. and day in characterization. And yeah, we had him. Like, Chaz Princeton's in, like, an arrogant asshole sometimes. Well, on Jome, it's just. Well, he's arrogant, but he's more. But he's. He's more the, relatably arrogant. Yeah, like, and he's kind of dorky at the same time. Pretty dorky at the what same time. What are we talking time. about? Chaz Princeton's <laughs> Japanese counterpart, uh, Manjome, uh. Sinatra. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, like, it, like his character is he's arrogant, but he, but he's a, in a in a relatable kind of way. Like he's not like really stuck up about it. I see. Yeah, he it's, believes it's himself one of the reasons to be better we, with some reason to it, but the dubs the dub has good Stop jokes, it. and that's about it on for the Yu-Gi-Oh series. They they have, yeah, it's and, funnier, but that's it. Yeah. Everything yeah. else they do is worse. Yeah, like, um... Well, at least use the c characters who contribute nothing to be funny while the Japanese just has characters to have characters. Well, by the way, um, yeah. I do like uh, Shuna, or, um, yeah, Shuna a bit more in the ja or Cyrus in the Japanese version better than the dub version. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I'm going to cut the recording here.